Hi, in today's concepts in biochemistry, we will look into what is carbohydrate loading. Now, this is a special phenomena which is used by endurance athletes who uh, you know require energy for a very long period of time. Suppose you are a marathon athlete and you have to run for a distance of say 10 kilometers for your race, 10 kilometers race. What happens inside the body is by the time you reach 1 to 2 kilometers, your, gly your glucose stores, your glucose stores are empty. Your glucose stores are empty. Now the question is, how do you go about having energy for all this distance? How do you do that? For that, endurance athletes have developed a special technique called as carbohydrate loading. Now this carbohydrate loading basically depends on a, uh, what do you say, a property of glycogen phosphorylase which is the basic enzyme which breaks down glycogen. Now suppose this is glycogen, suppose this is your glycogen molecule, suppose this is your glycogen molecule, alright. And it is highly branched. It has 12 concentric layers of uh, your polysaccharide chains of glucose, which are born in alpha 1, 4 units and all that. All right. Now, this is your glycogen molecule. And what happens is whenever there is a glycogen molecule, whenever the ATP concentration decreases or the concentration of AMP increases inside the body, what happens is this glycogen immediately breaks down. How does it break down? it uses a lot of glycogen phosphorylase. Now the enzyme glycogen phosphorylase, glycogen phosphorylase, this is the uh, principal enzyme which is breaking the glycogen down. It, it breaks down the glycogen. Its principal property is first it acts an alpha 1,4 bond only, it does not act on the branch that is alpha 1,6, it acts only on alpha 1, 4. Second important property is it only acts on the terminal bond. It only acts on the terminal bond. Now what does that mean? That means that it can act only on branches or branch ends. It can only on act only on branch ends. It cannot act in the interior. No, that cannot happen. It only has to act at the ends on the ends. So our glycogen because it is highly branched it will utilize a lot of glycogen phosphorylase enzyme and immediately it will disperse. Immediately it will disperse in the water. But endurance athletes what they do is they produce a glycogen or they uh, prepare a glycogen inside the body which is less branched and has longer chains okay very few branches so the glycogen in endurance athletes will be something like this very few branches very few branches but long chains what uh, happens when uh, the glycogen molecule is like this the glycogen phosphorylase they'll start acting from the terminal end very few uh, molecules of enzymes are involved and they will start cleaving from the end. So by the time it reaches the interior, it takes a long time. It releases this glucose, suppose uh, these are glucose molecules, right? These are glucose molecules. So what it does, every time it has to act through the end, it removes this, okay? This as glucose 1-phosphate, then it acts on the next, then it acts on the next, and slowly glucose 1-phosphate molecules are released in this type of glycogen. In this type of glycogen, all, all of them, all of them suddenly this act, it utilizes a lot of glycogen phosphorylase molecule and immediately glucose is being released. If the glycogen is like this, it won't last until here also. Why? Because so many glycogen phosphorylase molecules, immediately they will act on that glycogen and will release all that glucose immediately. Whereas this type of glycogen, this type of glycogen with very long chains and less branches, 
it will release the glucose units very very slowly which can be utilized over a period of time the question is how do they prepare this type of glycogen okay they prepare that by a special process that is carbohydrate loading what they do is rigorously they exercise rigorous exercise okay they exercise a lot 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 what happens when they are doing this rigorous exercise is their glycogen stores get empty emptied glycogen stores are gone nil glycogen inside then what they do is immediately after that immediately after this rigorous exercise they eat a heavy heavy sorry heavy carb diet heavy carb diet lot of lot of carbs at a time after doing rigorous exercise what happens is when the glycogen stores are empty glycogen synthesis is waiting for the carbohydrate to come you give it a lot of carbohydrate it immediately starts producing glycogen but it won't have time to prepare all those branches so what happens is when you do this rigorous ex ex exercise followed by a high carb diet rigorous exercise followed by a high carb diet what happens is you create a glycogen molecule which is having long chains but very few branches now this glycogen is used for their races so uh, before races what they do endurance athletes are very smart they know the biochemistry behind that what they do they do rigorous exercise empty their uh, glycogen uh, stores after that they take a very high carbohydrate diet which will immediately produce glycogen with very few branches because their uh, body doesn't have time to prepare that much that many branches okay so this type of glycogen when uh, the endurance athlete or when the marathon uh, runner what happens is when he is running he needs a continuous supply of glucose so how does that happen very slowly this glycogen phosphorylase will break down this glycogen molecule and it will provide the energy okay so the basic difference between us and a marathon runner if they are really smart they know the biochemistry this is the difference our glycogen is like this it will release glucose immediately whereas in marathon athletes it will release it very very slowly so that they can run over a very long time or they can do exercise over a very long period okay